we will use the radiation pressure formula to solve part A. And that is the pressure is equal to the intensity divided by the speed of light. So the first thing we need to do is find the pressure of the reflected sunlight. And we can find that by doing the pressure is equal to two times the intensity divided by the speed of light. The reason why we're doubling the intensity is because the, of this statement right here. The Earth reflects approximately 38% of the incident sunlight from its clouds and surface. So there are two sources where the pressure will occur from the Earth's clouds and the Earth's surface. Now we'll, we'll take into account that only 38% of this gets reflected. So we'll have two times 0.38 times 1,370. And we'll divide that by the speed of light in a vacuum, which is 3 times 10 to the 8th meters per second. This will give us a pressure of 3.47 times 10 to the minus 6 pascals. Next, we'll need to find the pressure from the absorbed sunlight. Now, there's only one source of pressure here. Earth, the surface of Earth is absorbing the sunlight, so there's only one source of pressure. Therefore, we just use the equation P is equal to the intensity divided by the speed of light. So 38% got reflected. So that means the other 62% was absorbed by the Earth. So we'll get that the pressure is equal to 0.62 times 1,370 divided by 3 times 10 to the 8th meters per second. This will give us a pressure of 2.83 times 10 to the minus 6 pascals. Finally, we're going to add both of these pressures to find the total pressure, and we'll find that the answer for part A is 6.30 times 10 to the minus 6 pascals. Part B wants us to compare the previous pressure that we found from part A to the normal atmospheric pressure. So we'll simply take the ratio between these two. So we'll have 101 times 10 to the third power divided by 6.30 times 10 to the minus 6. And we'll find that the ratio is 1.60 times 10 to the 10th power. So the normal atmospheric pressure is 1.60 times 10 to the 10th times larger than the radiation pressure. If anyone was curious, you could in fact prove that the radiation pressure intensity divided by the speed of light is in fact in units of what you'd find for pressure. We typically know that the pressure is equal to a force divided by an area and the intensity has units of watts per meter squared and a watt is simply a joule per second and then we can simplify that to have joules per meter squared second and now when we factor in the speed of light the seconds cancel out and we're left with a joule meter squared and a joule is simply force times a distance and we can go ahead and cancel out one of the meters and we're left with the force per meter which is what a pressure is.